Hey there everybody, this is the Vulcan Autosonic Mark SRO-4 uh, photoelectric smoke detector. This one is a 120 volt powered unit, it is line cord, um, as you can clearly see. Um, all original, hang on I just unplugged it, that's why it chirped. Here's what the plug looks like, it's got this cool little diamond logo thing with lightning bolts on it. It's like a shield with lightning bolts inside of it. That noise is thunder. We're having a pretty big thunderstorm right now. And it says right inside here, electric cord. You can't really see it that well though. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably not going to work. You can kind of see it there. There it is. The electric cord. Okay. So then I'll plug it back in. And it chirps when I plug it in. Um, so, focus. And, alright. So, as you can see, there's the indicator light right there. Which is actually, it serves two purposes. This is a photoelectric smoke detector, so it works on the principle of light. So, if you go ahead and take off the cover, the cover comes off with by removing this front screw here. So the screw comes off in this decorative ring, and now you can remove the cover. And the cover looks, it kind of looks like a gong of a bell, which is, actually makes sense because these were designed to go with their uh, wind-up heat detector bells. It even sounds kind of like a bell too. Anyway, on the inside you'll notice there are two lights here. This light down here is a neon lamp. It's an indicator lamp. This one up here is a incandescent bulb. It's actually underneath of this cover here, but it serves as the and it serves as sort of a secondary indicator lamp as well along with the neon bulb down there, but it also serves as the main uh light beam for the photoelectric sensor. So, here's the sensor chamber right here. Right here is the end cap here, the receiver for the beam from the photoelectric or from the light bulb. And then right here is the photoelectric sensor. Um, so, and then of course here's the transformer. And then here's the horn. The horn is a delta alarm. This one has a delta alarm horn in it. Um, so, there's a relay right here, um, which actually, I think that's what I heard click when I plugged it in. Um, and then there's another neon lamp right here, but I'm not sure what that one does. That one's not lit. So, let's take a look at how this thing works. So, you can see right here is the, uh, the lamp cover. If I take off the lamp cover, you can see right down in there the regular incandescent bulb. The red lamp cover is sort of a lens that goes over it so that it projects red out in the room. Or, it's red so that you'll know that it's working. So the lamp, there's a small little hole right here that it shines a beam through straight in a line right here to the end cap here. Now that's how it is in normal condition. It's just shining a beam right through. But when smoke enters the chamber through the little louvers here at the top and bottom of the sensor chamber, it interrupts the beam and the beam the smoke scatters the beam and some of that light from the lamp lands on the photoelectric sensor here. That creates the circuit and turns on the horn, which sounds the alarm. So that's how the photoelectric detector works. This is a very simple detector and it's the same principle as used today. However, today's detectors are used do not use incandescent light bulbs. They use uh, infrared LEDs. Um, but the fact that the incandescent bulb is intact and working is just amazing. These are very rarely found with working incandescent photoelectric beams. Um, and this is actually not the original light bulb. There was a spare lamp that was included when it was bought, and the original one had burned out, so uh, this lamp had been replaced, or this is the second one. 
So when that one goes, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably have to find my own. And is there a voltage on here? No, that just says, I don't even know what that says. But anyway, so as, as I said, this horn is a delta alarm horn. It's, um, I think, is it the AC one or the DC one? Actually, I don't know if there is a difference. It's being powered by, I don't know, there's no markings on here. It just says delta alarm. Hang on, you're not in here. It says delta alarm, Marion, something, Indiana maybe, India? I don't know, I can't see. I can't see it, it's corroded a little bit. So, um, and then on the back is the Vulcan label. The little, this paper thing kind of got torn up a little bit. I gotta have to find a way to fix that, maybe with some super glue. But it's Vulcan smoke detector, mark SRO-4, uh, sensitivity, uh, fire, loud ringing alarm, trouble, low buzzing hum. And when the light bulb is burned out, it'll do that trouble signal. Spare lamp inside, uh, Hang on, it's not focusing here. There. Uh, yeah, all this stuff. And then there's the logo right there, so. Yeah. All right. So now, replace the cover. Hang on, it's not focused. There. Move it into the... And now I'm going to test it for you. Now I tested it right before I started this video and it has kind of a very unusual sound. It's like, it's, it's, you just got to hear it. So let me get my matches because obviously this smoke detector does not have a test button because it was made way before those were put in. So, and because the smoke detector is photoelectric, it senses more slow smoky fire. So I'm going to light the match and blow it right out, which will create a lot of good smoke for it to sense. All right. Well, that wasn't a lot of smoke. Hang on a second. Let me try this again. This time, let me leave it lit. All right. Wait till the wood burns a little bit. And oh yeah, that's a lot of smoke right there. And it should, I hope. Come on. No. Huh. Let me go get some more matches really quickly. Actually, I might have some in my cabinet here. Nope. One moment, I'll be right back with some matches. All right, I found a brand new box of matches. Let's get this, let's see if we can get it to sound. So I got three matches here, so I'm gonna light those. Oh yeah, 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 that's a lot of smoke. All right, wait till the wood burns just a little bit, just to get some smoke. I'm gonna lift this one up. Hang on, move it. let me move it around so the cord doesn't get caught in the fire, because that would not be good. All right, wait, it's not even lighting the other two. Okay. Come on, sense of smoke, sense of smoke. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. This time. This time, let's hold it this way. Hang on. Hmm. Well, you know what? It's not going to work with the cover on. Maybe if I take the cover off, because I tested it with the cover off before. That might be the problem I'm having. Because I just blew the smoke right into the sensor chamber last time. So let me try this once more. And if this doesn't work, then I'll just end the video. And... All right. I only used one match, actually. All right, let's see. Smoke. 
Seriously? That was a lot of smoke. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know if you saw, but the cat kind of got scared away. So, yeah, it works when it needs to. And I also, you might have also noticed that the second neon lamp down here came on when it was sounding. I did not know that. So it turns out that that second neon lamp must be a sort of an alarm indicator, which I guess is not really necessary because, I mean, you can hear it, but, you know, whatever. It wasn't that bright either. So... It's very loud, it's very raspy sounding. The horn in this thing is probably, it's very corroded, so I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to sound like. But it sounds very, it has a very unique sound. I like the sound of it, actually. And it's really loud. Oh my god. So now I'm going to put the cover back on. Alright. So that is the Vulcan Autosonic. Mark SRO-4, photoelectric smoke detector. Thank you for watching.